shall we do? Well, Doctor, there's only one plan that I can think of, and that is destroying the Master, once and for all. Well, Captain Jack, well, I think that's what we've all been thinking. All right, Doctor, well, how will we defeat him? Well, I have a plan. Someone needs to teleport up there just to have a quick spy on who is with the master. Okay? See if there's anyone on his side and how many villains there is to destroy. But we can easily take them out. There's four of us, but there'll be probably three of us. Probably three of the enemies. So we're easily going to defeat them. Yeah, that's true, but who's going to go up and have a look? I mean, I don't have a teleporter on me. Nor do I. Nor do I. Well, okay then, I'll go. Alright. See you in a jiffy, you three. Whoa. Damn. Look at the master's fancy mansion. Doesn't he have a big house, eh? Anyway, so the task was to see how many people are with the master. If there's lots, then it's going to be difficult to defeat the master. But if there's only a few of his side, then we can easily wipe him out. Got to be careful with the windows because one of them can turn around any minute, spot me, and then I will be instantly dead. Okay, there's only three people at his side. Better tell the others. Okay, you three. Um, I did find the master. Yes, and he is with only three people. Well, what three villains is he with, Captain Jack? Well, I peeked through the windows and I saw exactly two Cybermen and that scarecrow of his. I thought I defeated that scarecrow guy. Ha! Huh. Well, he's only made out of wool, so he can easily, he can easily come back because he doesn't have a heart or anything. He can't damage anything. It's just wool, unless someone tears his arms off. Maybe that'll be one easier thing. Okay, so there's only three people on his side. What is the plan? How are we going to take out the master? once and for all. Well, you three, um, do you remember that time when I told you that I had taken that potion? I ripped, uh, horrible to say, but I ripped off some of Yorton's fingers, mixed them into this kind of potion, and his genes went into my genes after I drank the potion, and I turned into a fake version of him. Well, this is the plan. What if a master sends one of his bodyguards to attack us and then we take out that villain and I just take um, some some genetic information off that character and then I can drink the potion, turn into that villain, I can walk into the mansion of the masters and I can easily take him out. And you three can just sit back and relax. Well, you'll have to help anyway. I was lying about that you can't relax. Someone's got to do the job with me. So, what is the news, you three? Well, I think the news is I send one of you to go kill them all. I've, I'm tired of them now. We just keep attacking and attacking and nothing's been done about it. So for one of you, just act for a minute and just do something rather than just standing there. Okay, Master. I think I will go. I can just rip their hearts out and I'll just come back to you with their heads. No! That's even horrible. Don't come back with a head. What the hell was you thinking in that straw head of yours?
Okay, well, I will just go anyway. See you later. And Master Cybermen, farewell. Okay, well, now Master's gone off to look for people. Well, some of uh, Master's enemies. What shall we do? Just sit back and relax? Um, no, Captain Jack, we can't do that. That's just being lazy. We're not lazy. Ha ha. But you are, Doctor. Oh, got to be careful. Why do I job? I'm a woman. I should be having a nice cup of tea at home. Not being scared all the time. Ah, 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 ah. You guys, I think I just saw one of the master's bodyguards, and it is not good. Do you know that wool guy you was talking about? Well, they have unfortunately sent him. Okay, well, no need to worry, Martha. I'll just do the job. I'll just go over there. Take some of the genetic information off that scarecrow, you mean, not the wool head. And I'll take that genetic information into a potion, drink it, and I'll be walking into that mansion, and the master won't even know it's really me. So, this is the plan. I go past you lot. It's quiet. Be careful. He's there. I just walk along. While he's not looking, I'll just push him off. That's one of his bodyguards dead. Okay, but how do you how do you know if this plan will actually work? It will. Just just stay back, and you'll see me coming back with a nice piece of wool. Enemy detected. Ah, okay. This isn't how I planned it all out. State your name and your rank. And if you are an enemy, you will be taken back to the master's mansion. My leader. I am going to kill you. Ah, ah, ah. No, you're not going to kill me. I'm going to rip your arms off and bring them back to the master. Huh. Well, you're not, because I have you in a control. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Scarecrow, enjoy your fall. Ah, now that's him defeated. You know what? I've defeated the Scarecrow. Ah, well, that's all right news then. Did he manage to rip a part of his hand off? Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. I just took took a bit of wool out of his hand. Now, I'll be right back. I just have to make the potion. Ah! Ah! That actually worked! Look at my weird hands! Peekaboo! Who's behind you? Ah! Jeez! For a minute, I actually thought it was a scarecrow. But thank God it's really you, Fifth Doctor. And my heart would be flying out my belly if it wasn't really you. Yes, well, anyway, we need to get to that mansion now. Are you ready? Are you all brave? Um, no. I think I just weed my pants. Ah, that's horrible. How could you even tell us that, you disgusting man? Anyway... Come on, get to give it to me, you three. I've got the teleporter, remember? Not you. Ah! Oh, well, here we are. I guess this is the end, isn't it, you three? Well, let this epic battle begin. In three, two, one. Someone is knocking on the door. 
Let's room inside the main opening doors, Master. Hello, Cybermen. Hello, Master. Well, I have good news. I have brought the three people you have wanted in captivity, and you can kill them yourself. Ha! I was joking. Ah! How dare you! Why did you even do that? Why did you even kill the Cyberman? Are you on our team? Ha! Huh. Well, if I was, I'd probably throw up if I was on your side. Well, just stand back while I have another Cyberman to get rid of. Come on, Cyberman! This way! This way to death! Out the way, you three! Ha! Well, I got rid of him now, and I guess it's just me and the potions worn off, Doctor. I'm not no scarecrow anymore. Doctor, we need to think of a quick plan. And you too. Well, the, po the potions just worn off, and I'm. What shall we do? I guess we're all going to die this time. Yes, you will. All of you. How dare you kill my minions, my bodyguards. We were the evil menace. But you killed my team. And in revenge, I'm going to kill all of you. So, who would like to die first? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone for anyone? Well, be right back, you three. While I was in the mansion, I saw a massive sword. I'll just go quickly grab the sword and I'll chop the master's head off really fast. Well, I guess it's between me and you, Doctor. It's a final fight between me and you. First, go towards the master. Grab his right arm. Push him towards the edge, let go, and victory will be mine. Crab, return, get off me, you idiot. I guess we both die. No. today to attend the funeral of the doctor, the one who was always adventurous, funny and would never let anything get him down, except for when he was rude to me, but I guess I was rude to him. So I would like you all to wish your last goodbyes. Unfortunately, the doctor's body was never found, but the master's body was found three miles away, away from where we were. No one knows where the doctor's, bo where the doctor's body went, but I guess it was probably lost in sea or something similar. Anyway. From all of us, rest in peace, Doctor. He's recovered. <laughs>